MS-DOS is an operating system for x86-based personal computers mostly developed by Microsoft. It was the most commonly used member of the DOS family of operating systems, and was the main operating system for IBM PC-compatible personal computers during the 1980s to the mid-1990s when it was gradually superseded by operating systems offering a graphical user interface. In various generations of the graphical Microsoft Windows operating system by Microsoft Corporation, MS-DOS resulted from a request in 1981 by IBM for an operating system to use in its IBM PC range of personal computers. Microsoft quickly bought the rights to 86DOS from Seattle Computer Products and began work on modifying it to meet IBM's specification. IBM licensed and released it in August 1981 as PC-DOS 1.0 for use in their PCs. Although MS-DOS and PC-DOS were initially developed in parallel by Microsoft and IBM, in subsequent years the two products went their separate ways. During its life, several competing products were released for the x86 platform, and MS-DOS went through eight versions, until development ceased in 2000. Initially MS-DOS was targeted at Intel 8086 processors running on computer hardware using floppy disks to store and access not only the operating system, but application software and use of data as well. Progressive version releases delivered support for other mass storage media in ever greater sizes and formats, along with added feature support for newer processes and rapidly evolving computer architectures. Ultimately it was the key product in Microsoft's growth from a programming languages company to a diverse software development firm, providing the company with essential revenue and marketing resources. It was also the underlying basic operating system on which early versions of Windows ran as a GUI. It is a flexible operating system and consumes negligible installation space. History MS-DOS was a renamed form of 86DOS owned by Seattle Computer Products, written by Tim Patterson. Development of 86DOS took only six weeks, as it was basically a clone of Digital Researcher CPM, ported to run on 8086 processes and with two notable differences compared to CPM, an improved disk sector buffering logic and the introduction of FAT12 instead of the CPM file system. This first version was shipped in August 1980. Microsoft which needed an operating system for the IBM personal computer hired Tim Patterson in May 1981 and bought 86DOS 1.10 for $75,000 in July of the same year. Microsoft kept the version number, but renamed it MS-DOS. They also licensed MS-DOS 1.10, 1.14 to IBM, who, in August 1981, offered it as PC-DOS 1.0 as one of three operating systems for the IBM 5150 or the IBM PC. Within a year Microsoft licensed MS-DOS to over 70 other companies. It was designed to be an OS that could run on any 8086 family computer. Each computer would have its own distinct hardware and its own version of MS-DOS, similar to the situation that existed for CPM, and with MS-DOS emulating the same solution as CPM to adapt for different hardware platforms. To this end, MS-DOS was designed with a modular structure with internal device drivers, minimally for primary disk drives and the console, integrated with the kernel and loaded by the bootloader, and installable device drivers for other devices loaded and integrated at boot time. The OEM would use a development kit provided by Microsoft to build a version of MS-DOS with their basic AO drivers and a standard Microsoft kernel, which they would typically supply on disk to end users along with the hardware. Thus, there were many different versions of MS-DOS for different hardware, and there is a major distinction between an IBM-compatible machine and an MS-DOS-compatible machine. 
Some machines, like the Tandy 2000, were MS-DOS compatible but not IBM compatible, so they could run software written exclusively for MS-DOS without dependence on the peripheral hardware of the IBM PC architecture. This design would have worked well for compatibility if application programs had only used MS-DOS services to perform device I.O., and indeed the same design philosophy is embodied in Windows NT. However, in MS-DOS's early days, the greater speed attainable by programs through direct control of hardware was of particular importance, especially for games, which often pushed the limits of their contemporary hardware. Very soon an IBM-compatible architecture became the goal, and before long all 8086 family computers closely emulated IBM's hardware, and only a single version of MS-DOS for a fixed hardware platform was needed for the market. This version is the version of MS-DOS that is discussed here, as the dozens of other OEM versions of MS-DOS were only relevant to the systems they were designed for, and in any case were very similar in function and capability to some standard version for the IBM PC, often the same numbered version, but not always since some OEMs used their own proprietary version numbering schemes, with a few notable exceptions. Microsoft omitted multi-user support from MS-DOS because Microsoft's Unix-based operating system, Xenix, was fully multi-user. The company planned to over time improve MS-DOS so it would be almost indistinguishable from single-user Xenix, or XEDOS which would also run on the Motorola 68000, Zilog Z8000, and the LSI 11, they would be upwardly compatible with Xenix, which Byte in 1983 described as the multi-user MS-DOS of the future. Microsoft advertised MS-DOS and Xenix together, listing the shared features of its single-user OS and the multi-user multitasking. Unix-derived operating system and promising easy porting between them. After the breakup of the Bell system, however, AT&T computer systems started selling Unix System V, believing that it could not compete with AT&T in the Unix market, Microsoft abandoned Xenix, and in 1987 transferred ownership of Xenix to the Santa Cruz operation. On 25 March 2014, Microsoft made the code to SCP MS-DOS 1.25 in a mixture of Altos MS-DOS 2.11 and Televideo PC-DOS 2.11 available to the public under the Microsoft Research License Agreement, which makes the code source available, but not open source as defined by Open Source Initiative or Free Software Foundation standards. As an April Fool's joke in 2015, Microsoft Mobile launched a Windows Phone application called MS-DOS Mobile which was presented as a new mobile operating system and worked similar to MS-DOS versions. Microsoft licensed or released versions of MS-DOS under different names like Lifeboat Associates, Software Bus 86, aka SB-DOS, Compact-DOS. NCR DOS or Z DOS before it eventually enforced the MS DOS name for all versions but the IBM one, which was originally called IBM Personal Computer DOS, later shortened to IBM PC DOS. The following versions of MS DOS were released to the public. MS-DOS 1, X version 1.10 Possible basis for IBM's personal computer DOS 1.0 version 1.11 Possible basis for IBM's personal computer DOS 1.0 version 1.14 Possible basis for IBM's personal computer DOS 1.0 version 1.24 Basis for IBM's personal computer DOS 1.1 version 1.25 Basis for non-IBM OEM versions of MS-DOS, including SCP MS-DOS 1.25, Compact DOS 1.12, a Compact OEM version of MS-DOS, Zenith Z-DOS 1.19, the Zenith OEM version of MS-DOS, MS-DOS 2, X, 
support for 10 MB hard disk drives and tree structural filing system version 2.0 version 2.1 version 2.11 Altos MS-DOS 2.11, an Altos OEM version of MS-DOS 2.11 for the ACT86C Televideo PC DOS 2.11, and Televideo OEM version of MS-DOS 2.11. MS DOS 3, X version 3.0 support for FAT 16. First version to support 5.25 inch 1.2 megabytes floppy drives and diskettes. Version 3.1 support for Microsoft Networks version 3.11 First version to support 3.5 inch 720 kilobytes floppy drives and diskettes. Version 3.2 Version 3.21 Version 3.22 Version 3.25 Version 3.3 First version to support 3.5 inch 1.44 MB floppy drives and diskettes. Version 3.3 A version 3.31 supports FAT16B and larger drives. MS-DOS 4.0 and MS-DOS 4.1 A separate branch of development with additional multitasking features, released between 3.2 and 3.3, and later abandoned. It is unrelated to any later versions, including versions 4.00 and 4.01 listed below. MS-DOS 4X includes a graphical mouse interface. It had many bugs and compatibility issues. Version 4.00 first version to support a single hard disk partition that is greater than and up to a maximum size of. Version 4.01 Microsoft rewritten version 4.00 released under MS-DOS label but not IBM PC DOS. First version to introduce volume serial number when formatting hard disks and floppy disks. Version 4.01a, MS-DOS 5, X version 5.0 includes a full-screen editor, a number of bugs required reissue. First version to support 3.5-inch, 2.88 MB floppy drives and diskettes. Hard disk partitions greater than and up to a maximum size of no longer required share X to be loaded in order to access them. Support was now provided by the MS-DOS kernel. ASP Premium Exec DOS 5.0 A version for the ASP Premium Exec series of notebooks with various extensions, including improved load high and extended code page support version 5.0 A. With this release, IBM and Microsoft versions diverge. Version 5.0.500 All Windows NT 32-bit versions ship with files from DOS 5.0, MS-DOS 6, X version 6.0 Online help through QBA SIC, disk compression, upper memory optimization and antivirus included. Version 6.2 Scan Disk as replacement for CHKDSK, fix serious bugs in DBLSPACE. Version 6.21 Stacker infringing DBLSPACE removed. Version 6.22 New DRVSPACE compression. MS DOS 7 X version 7.0 support for VFAT long file names and 32 bits signed integer error level. New editor. Joe, sys is an alternative file name of the IOSYS kernel file and used as such for special purposes. Joe, sys allows booting from either CD-ROM drive or hard disk. Last version to recognize only the first 8.4 GB of a hard disk. The ver internal command prompt reports the Windows version 4.00950. Version 7.1 support for EFAT32 file system. Last general purpose DOS to load Windows. The ver internal command prompt reports the Windows version 4.00.11.11, the 4th of October 1998 or the 4th of October 2222. MS-DOS 8.0 version 8.0 integrated drivers for faster Windows loading. Four different kernels observed. 
the ver internal command prompt reports the Windows version 4.90.3000, version 8.0 DOS boot disks created by XP and later contain files from Windows Me. The ver internal command prompt reports the Windows version 5.0. Microsoft DOS was released through the OEM channel, until Dry released Dr. DOS 5.0 as a retail upgrade. With PC DOS 5.001, the IBM Microsoft agreement started to end, and IBM entered the retail DOS market with IBM DOS 5.001, 5.02, 6.00 and PC DOS 6.1. 6.3, 7, 2007.1. Localized versions of MS-DOS existed for different markets. While Western issues of MS-DOS evolved around the same set of tools and drivers just with localized message languages and differing sets of supported code pages and keyboard layouts. Some language versions were considerably different from Western issues and were adapted to run on localized PC hardware with additional BIOS services, not available in Western PCs. Support multiple hardware code pages for displays and printers, support DBCS, alternative input methods and graphics output. Affected issues include Japanese, Korean, Arabic, Hebrew, Russian as well as some other Eastern European versions of DOS. Competition on microcomputers based on the Intel 8086 and 8088 processors, including the IBM PC and clones. The initial competition to the PC-DOS MS-DOS line came from Digital Research, whose CPM operating system had inspired MS-DOS. In fact, there remains controversy as to whether QDOS was more or less plagiarized from early versions of CPM code. Digital Research released CPM86 a few months after MS-DOS, and it was offered as an alternative to MS-DOS and Microsoft's licensing requirements, but at a higher price. Executable programs for CPM86 and MS-DOS were not interchangeable with each other. Many applications were sold in both MS-DOS and CPM86 versions, until MS-DOS became preponderant. MS-DOS originally supported the simple COM, which was modeled after a similar but binary incompatible format known from CPM80. CPM86 instead supported a relocatable format using the file extension CMD to avoid name conflicts with CPM80 and MS-DOS COM files. MS-DOS version 2.0 added a more advanced relocatable X-executable file format. Most of the machines in the early days of MS-DOS had differing system architectures and there was a certain degree of incompatibility, and subsequently vendor lock-in. Users who began using MS-DOS with their machines were compelled to continue using the version customized for their hardware, or face trying to get all of their proprietary hardware and software to work with the new system. In the business world the 808x-based machines that MS-DOS was tied to face competition from the Unix operating system which ran on many different hardware architectures. Microsoft itself sold a version of Unix for the PC called Xenix. In the emerging world of home users, a variety of other computers based on various other processors were in serious competition with the IBM PC, the Apple II, early Apple Macintosh, the Commodore 64 and others did not use the 808X processor. Many 808X machines of different architectures used custom versions of MS-DOS. At first all these machines were in competition. In time the IBM PC hardware configuration became dominant in the 808X market as software written to communicate directly with the PC hardware without using standard operating system calls ran much faster, but on true PC compatibles only. 
non-PC compatible 808X machines were too small a market to have fast software written for them alone, and the market remained open only for IBM PCs and machines that closely imitated their architecture, all running either a single version of MS-DOS compatible only with PCs, or the equivalent IBM PC-DOS. Most clones cost much less than IBM-branded machines of similar performance and became widely used by home users. While IBM PCs had a large share of the business computer market, Microsoft and IBM together began what was intended as the follow-on to MS-DOS PC-DOS called OS-2. When OS-2 was released in 1987, Microsoft began an advertising campaign announcing that DOS is dead and stating that version 4 was the last full release. OS 2 was designed for efficient multitasking, an IBM speciality derived from deep experience with mainframe operating systems, and offered a number of advanced features that had been designed together with similar look and feel. It was seen as the legitimate heir to the kludgy DOS platform. MS-DOS had grown in spurts, with many significant features being taken or duplicated from Microsoft's other products and operating systems. MS-DOS also grew by incorporating, by direct licensing or feature duplicating, the functionality of tools and utilities developed by independent companies, such as Norton Utilities, PC Tools, QEMM Expanded Memory Manager, Stacker Disk Compression, and others. During the period when digital research was competing in the operating system market some computers, like Amstrad PC-1512, were sold with floppy disks for two operating systems, MS-DOS and CPM-86 or a derivative of it. Digital Research produced DOS Plus, which was compatible with MS-DOS 2.11, supported CPM-86 programs, had additional features including multitasking, and could read and write disks in CPM and MS-DOS format. While OS 2 was under protracted development, Digital Research released the MS-DOS compatible Dr. DOS 5.0 which included features only available as third-party add-ons for MS-DOS. Unwilling to lose any portion of the market, Microsoft responded by announcing the pending release of MS-DOS 5.0 in May 1990. This effectively killed most Dr. DOS sales until the actual release of MS-DOS 5.0 in June 1991. Digital Research brought out Dr. DOS 6.0, which sold well until the pre-announcement of MS-DOS 6.0 again stifled the sales of Dr. DOS. Microsoft had been accused of carefully orchestrating leaks about future versions of MS-DOS in an attempt to create what in the industry is called FUD regarding Dr. DOS. For example, in October 1990, shortly after the release of Dr. DOS 5.0, and long before the eventual June 1991 release of MS-DOS 5.0, stories on feature enhancements in MS-DOS started to appear in InfoWorld and PC Week. Brad Silverberg, Vice President of Systems Software at Microsoft and General Manager of its Windows and MS-DOS Business Unit wrote a forceful letter to PC WIC, denying that Microsoft was engaged in FUD tactics and denying that Microsoft copied features from Dr. DOS. The feature enhancements of MS-DOS version 5.0 were decided in development was begun long before we heard about Dr. DOS 5.0. There will be some similar features. With 50 million MS-DOS users, it shouldn't be surprising that Dry has heard some of the same requests from customers that we have. The pact between Microsoft and IBM to promote OS 2 began to fall apart in 1990 when Windows 3.0 became a marketplace success. Much of Microsoft's further contributions to OS 2 also went into creating a third GUI replacement for DOS Windows NT. IBM, which had already been developing the next version of OS 2, 
carried on development of the platform without Microsoft and sold it as the alternative to DOS and Windows.